What's up guys, my name is Zan Prez and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video is another Red Hive video. So as a lot of you guys know, recently I converted over to a Red Hive. I've been using it for probably around two weeks now and yeah, I've noticed that it definitely isn't the best possible hive that I can have, but it has done me really well so far. It mostly at first was set up to be a attack plus red hive, but you know, I really was making sure to focus on attack because I was still trying to defeat my level 20 snow bear. I have been trying to help as many people as I can out recently with snow bears, but now I think most people who are planning on finishing the Bubble Bee Man quest have almost finished that part of the quest. If you are not yet finished and you think you might be able to finish, I am still going to be trying to help people out as much as I possibly can with snow bears, so if you would like some of my help, please leave your Roblox name down in the comments. But yeah, I'm going to basically go through how to set up a red hive. I'm going to go through all the bees that you need and try to kind of just explain everything because I've been using a red hive for a while now and I am starting to kind of understand everything that you need. So first thing you need is you're going to need to get yourself a basic bee because it has 1.2 times pollen which is going to be an essential thing in all types of hives. You can also get yourself a bomber bee. I personally am not because bomb pollen can really fill up your bag quickly and I don't always want my bag filled up, but you can get yourself one. You also want a looker bee because it gives critical power and focus, so you definitely want a gifted looker bee no matter what hive you are. You also want a gifted rad bee if you're a red hive because that gives plus 10% red pollen, which is insane. You're also going to want to get yourself a rascal bee. It gives 25% red pollen which is also really good but bomb pollen can really fill up your bag pretty fast so you got to be careful stubborn bee gives bee ability um token lifespan which is great so you can pick up all tokens i would recommend getting those also commander bee you've got to get yourself a gifted commander bee because of the five percent critical chance and it also gives focus which is great you are also going to want to pick up one gifted fire bee because it gives 1.5 pollen from flames and flames are going to be the main thing that you need to focus on if you are a red hive so make sure just one of those. I'm going to be switching up my hive a bit. Right now I have two of them but you definitely want to change that. You can get yourself a rage bee if you're going for an attack hive but if you go for the red hive route you're going to need a lot of spices which give rage just like rage bee. You're going to want to get yourself seven gifted Riley bees. That's what I do. I have 50 hive slots. It gives plus 10% red pollen and it also gives red boost tokens which is really really important because that is going to be what triggers your scorching star passive. Also get yourself a baby bee. It's not super essential but the nice. it's nice to get that loot luck and that baby love. You're going to want to get yourself a carpenter bee for plus 25% pollen from tools. The honey mark are also pretty OP in the game. You can also get yourself a demon bee. I'm still going to experiment with this one because I definitely don't want my bag to fill up too fast with red bomb pollen. But you know, we'll just kind of have to see after a bit of testing with it. A lot of hives recommend a gifted diamond bee so I had one. I'm going to be changing that out because it doesn't really help me that much. But diamond bee is a very good bee to have just in case. I also am going to be getting rid of this gifted Lion Bee. Lion Bee gives a lot of good attack to your hive, but I'm kind of going for the red hive route and not just red and attack. Also, you're going to want to get yourself three gifted Music Bees because they give Melody and Focus, which are probably the two best abilities in the game. Get yourself three of them so you can always have Melody buff going. You can also get yourself a gifted Ninja Bee. I personally really like this bee. If you have 50 slots, I would recommend one of those slots being a gifted Ninja Bee. Get yourself a gifted Shy Bee. I just have one of those. A lot of people try to decide between Riley and Shy Bee because they both give red boost tokens which trigger the Scorching Star passive. But Shy Bee gives more attack than... Or, but Riley Bee gives more attack than Shy Bee, sorry. And I have a Star Saw passive and attack is going to be really important. So I go with Riley Bees instead of Shy Bees. Also get yourself a couple, probably two gifted... Fuzzy bees because their pollinate is insane on the fields. Right now I have seven, but I'm gonna be getting to eleven gifted fuzzy or 
not fuzzy bees gifted spicy bees today which are going to be so important so make sure to get those they give great attack they give a ton of flames i also have three tadpole bees they're not necessary but they do have baby love ability when they're gifted and they're just a really nice one to have around because they do help give you some other boosts in the game vector b you're also going to want to get those because marks are really nice in the field i love the triangulate ability and the mark surge gifted ability just in general, all of the Mythic Bees are great, so you're probably going to want to get yourself a couple Vector Bees. I would recommend keeping all of the Event Bees, except you really don't need Cobalt Bee. I'll be getting rid of Cobalt Bee as well, because though it is an Event Bee, you don't really need it. It gives blue instant conversion, and we're a Red Hive, so you don't really need that in your Hive. But yeah, other than that, you're going to kind of want to keep everything else. Puppy Bee is a bee that you're only going to want if you are trying to still level up your hive a bit. And yeah, I'm going to hold on to a Tabby Bee for sure. Vicious Bee I always like to keep around. And Windy Bee, if you have one, they're amazing because of their tornado ability. So here we go. I'm going to get into it and I'm going to spend a bunch of honey trying to get some more fuzzy bees in my hive. So now what I'm testing is I'm going to try and see how big I can grow my Scorching Star passive by standing in the flames. I usually was getting around 5,000, 6,000, maybe 7,000 multiplier from flames because I didn't have that many spicy bees, but right now it already looks like I'm going to shatter that number. It's really important to have a lot of fire if you're running a red hive and it looks like this hive setup is much better when it comes to scorching star and it doesn't seem like my bag is filling up that fast either which is great so I think 
the bomb tokens are doing pretty good. I will definitely make sure to keep you guys posted as well. If you guys have any suggestions with what I should do for my hive, leave that down in the comments. That's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you guys for all the support on my recent videos. It means so much to me. And that's going to be about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys next time.